In the city of cycling, the numbers are rising. Hundreds of thousands of spectators are expected to watch the third stage of the Tour de France pass through the streets, bringing excitement, glamour and disruption. Those people who have had reservations about the Tour coming and disrupting their Monday, let's say to them, look at it as an extra bank holiday. Come out and enjoy it. And if you can't get out to see it, it'll be live on television. So it's going to be a tremendous day. It's going to be very exciting for all ages. But it means extra work for some. 1,200 hotel rooms have been booked for the riders and support staff alone. Fans flying in from across the world are competing to find a place to rest their heads. And hotels like Anstey Hall in Trumpington have raised their prices accordingly. We had some bookings which we honoured for a long time ago, the real hardcore cycling enthusiasts. So we've got them, them in. And of course the big hotel in Cambridge, the University Arms, is closed for two years now. So that takes some of the high-end business where we are out. So Cambridge is a bit short at the moment. Businesses will be affected right along the route. Scottsdale's Garden Centre in Great Shelford is opening at 6am to provide free parking for spectators. At least they'll have a captive audience once the road closes an hour later. We wouldn't charge, um, you know, I don't think it's fair. It's, it's a lot of people can't get anywhere close, so, you know, if we can help people out, um, you know, all the best for everybody, really. I think it will probably affect takings, but I don't think that's part of the day. I think the, the day to is, is really to enjoy it and, and bring something different and, and fresh to Cambridge. The race begins in Leeds tomorrow, last night's opening ceremony, giving Cambridge a glimpse of what's coming to town. Experts say one day of disruption could pay dividends. Will footfall and tourism be able to flow into the local area that I'm sure the council hopes and a lot of the local businesses hope? And if that happens and it's not just centralised in the main Parker's Peace area and the main event zone areas, then I think we might see some really good return on economic investment. On Parker's Peace in Cambridge, last-minute preparations next to the starting line. The city gearing up for a big weekend of celebrations before the big bonjour to the tour on Monday.